If you're like most people, as the new year rolls around, you're gonna come up with a whole bunch of new year's resolutions and you think you're going to diligently stick to those throughout the year. Well, the statistics show that 87% of you who do that are going to have forgotten or stopped even striving towards those resolutions by the end of February. So today we're gonna to talk about a different concept that might help a lot. I'm Dr. Rodney White with Sapi Chiropractic and as always, thanks for joining us. Today, we're gonna to talk about a very small, simple, easy to read book called One Word That Will Change Your Life. It literally says in here from the authors, it's a 44 minute read and it really is a nice quick read. But it's something that about this time of year is a great idea to reread each year to zero back in. The whole concept of this book is to help you find one word to keep you focused all year on the goals you wanna achieve, the growth you wanna make, the things you want to avoid, all of those things, the word is designed to help impact you in all those seven areas of life, being financial, uh, business or career, family and friends, social, meaning what you're doing for community, your spiritual quest, your physical health, uh, and your mindset. The word is designed to help with all of those things. And it's a really pretty simple process. And once you get the hang of it, it works great. Everyone on our team does it every year. We all come up with our own individual word and then we come up with a team word. And the whole point of it is to help get you back to focused and centered on the path you wanna take throughout that year by having one word to focus on instead of a bunch of different goals and resolutions. Now having goals is fine. And in fact, we all use a lot of goal setting in our office and our team but this one word helps get you centered on those, whereas resolutions just don't tend to work out and they usually fall flat. So in the book, the authors talk about the three steps to the process of it. And again, we highly recommend if anyone's going to do this process, just buy the book, it's cheap, it's very easy to read, like we said, it'll cost you 45 minutes of your time. But they first talk about looking in. So they say, prepare your heart to receive, because they talk about how the word usually finds you rather than you finding the word. And while that sounds kind of airy-fairy, it's amazing how that's actually the way that it, it tends to work out every year. So when you're looking in, it's unplugging, it's getting, whether you meditate or pray, whatever it is, get into a peaceful place and then ask yourself these questions. What do I need? What's in my way? And what needs to go? And as you keep asking those questions, you're gonna get a lot of thoughts on where you think you wanna go with it and you'll get some words to test. Then the second piece is look up or discover your word. Now the authors write from a, more of a religious connotation and they talk about looking up as in praying to God. It doesn't matter what you call it, whether you call it the universe, whether you call it the innate intelligence, whether you call it God, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's gonna achieve the same thing. You've got to again, unplug, and get yourself into that prayer or meditative state and then listen, what's God or the universe trying to tell you? What word is really coming to you to help answer those questions you asked in part one? And then when you discover your word, now part three is live your word or look out. So we have look in, look up, look out. And in living the word, they talk about enjoy the journey, enjoy the experiences, don't do it just to check off a box, we should be the same way we set goals, right? Don't set a goal so that it's boom, 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 we're robotic and then we achieve it. Set a goal that's gonna challenge you in some form to grow personally and professionally and where the whole experience and process is gonna help you and you can fall in love with the process. And then if you hit the goal, great. And if not, at least you've still grown and gained some wisdom and experience and you can know why. That's what this should all be about. Another big piece they talk about is no do-overs. So even if you had a bad year with it, some people completely forget their word and they get to this time of year and they think, oh, what was it again? If they do remember it or you don't feel like you lived it out, don't do a do-over. Always set a new word because that year is done. We're coming to the end of 2019. We can never have that time over again. We only ever have the present moment and that present moment is about to be 2020. So no do-overs, regardless of how poorly you do with this thing. And I promise you from the experience myself and all of our team have had, if you do this and you try it and you put the word where you're going to see it, some people make it their, their log into their phone and their computer and they stick it on their bathroom mirror and they have it written down so they see it on their card dashboard and you have it everywhere, you make it your screensaver. If you do that and you see it, 
it will impact you if you've chosen the right word or let the right word choose you. And every year that you do it, it's like you get better at choosing the word and it gets more and more impactful. So I think it would be a lot of fun for anyone watching this to try it. And if you do, send us a message or reach out on any of our social media channels and let us know how you did with it. But here again is the book. It's one word, one word that will change your life. John Gordon and, and Dan Britton and Jimmy Page are the authors. John Gordon's written a ton of books we love.